love is innate within humanity. It's it's quite an interesting, um, uh, crazy sort of way of looking at it uh, from that point of view. But all of human beings are really units of love. They're, they're sacrificial points of endeavour. That's one way of um, describing a human unit from, from an esoteric point of view. The monad and the soul have sacrificed their great um, cosmic purpose in order to incarnate into these bodies of flesh and clay, uh, so that the substance of the bodies and flesh and clay and the other kingdoms of nature can be liberated, became human. And so there's a duration of sacrifice before they can enter back into cosmic space as a Buddha. So there's a whole process involved. So we're actually sacrificial units, which is love, loving units. The Deva Kingdom, um, even though they're so loving, and believe me, if you ever have any contact with the Deva Kingdom, you just see them so incredibly loving and spontaneously joyous, um, are actually units of intelligent purpose. It's a good way of describing them, intelligent purpose. They intelligently sort of dissect and um, um, produce all of the multitudinous diversity that you find in life itself. All the trees, plants, animals, everything that is um, minute and, um, and wonderful to see in nature is the result of their minds unfolding. Um, if you ever sort of talk to a little, um, the little angel, for instance, a little diva sort of fluttering around in front of you about that big and beautiful colour, um, then you'll find that they're absolutely um, spontaneously joyous and um, they have a knowledge bank of their little unit of service, whatever they do. Um, beautiful minds, clean minds, no human emotions whatsoever. Matter of fact, only human beings have the emotions. 